you may think that Quidditch is a fantastical game that only exists in the mind of JK Rowling and in a Hollywood special effects studio. But you'd be wrong, because I am about to play Quidditch. Yes, really, in this South London park. And all I need is a headband, a broom, and a little bit of magic. And I'm off to Hogwarts. <sighs> Okay, human Quidditch is unbelievably complicated. There are over 700 rules or something in an extremely complex rule book. But Ella's going to explain the basic ones, which are that you have to have a broom between your legs at all times. Yes. Right, and there are different positions. Yes. You're wearing a white headband, so what does that make you? I am a chaser and I have to score with the quaffle, which is a deflated volleyball. Okay, uh, this is a seeker's headband? Yes. And what do they have to do? They have to catch a snitch. Okay, and what's the black headband? That's for the beaters and they have the bludger and they can beat people with the bludger, which is kind of like dodgeball. Okay, can I punch someone? No, nah. but you can uh, stiff arm someone, so you can push someone like this. Okay. If someone has a ball, you can also tackle them with one arm only. Okay, but the thing to remember is broom between your legs at all yes. times. I've just been given the awesome responsibility of becoming a seeker in charge of catching the snitch. Now in the film, that is a ball that flies miles up in the air, but in human Quidditch, it's a human dressed in yellow with a tennis ball out of his bottom. Let's go seek. We're 100 points down. This is my moment for glory. Well, it's an unbelievably physical game, far more so than I thought, and I was warned I needed to be fit. And I've already sustained quite a serious injury in seeking the snitch. Now, boys, to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed that I haven't got a proper broom, I've only got a stick. And also a cape. Where are the capes? So, initially it started out with capes to embody the books, but that got outlawed after rule book one because of a health and safety hazard. Right, outlawed by whom? By the, by, the governing by... body. Uh, <laughs> there's an international Quidditch Association, it's like FIFA and UEFA, uh, and they decided that due to people grabbing capes and people, obviously, it getting tight around the neck, it wasn't a sensible. Oh, I see. Can you fly? Uh, no, we can't fly. I'd like to be able to, it'd be quite cool. But no, we don't fly. But running's just as fun. We're going to the Global Games. And it's, where are they? They're in Canada, in Vancouver. We're, rep we're representing Team UK against six other countries. Mexico, France, Belgium, America, Canada and Australia. Well, Muggles Quidditch is clearly completely ludicrous. Not least quite how seriously this team are training. But it's a great deal of fun and physically far more demanding than many sports I could think of. I wish them all the best at the Global Games. Who knows, Britain may finally secure some sporting glory this summer even if it is with a quaffle and a broomstick. <laughs>